Well, I'm here with Maggot from Krupps, and I've been asking a question. Pat, just get a shot of that. That is one of my favorite coffee brewers, and as you know, it's based, it was originally called a T8. It's been in the product line how many years, Megan? Since I was a baby. Since you were a baby. Okay, well, that's not that long, but uh, anyway, <laughs> the, uh, uh, just tell me a little bit about it and why why people more people haven't discovered it, even though I have a great review of it at thecoffeecompanion.com. Absolutely. It's actually a low-pressure brew system. Um, and basically what happens is you brew the water or you heat the water at the bottom and it goes up and it drips over the coffee and it basically steeps the coffee so it's a stronger coffee and a hotter coffee. It's just a little bit different than what you normally see in filter coffee makers these days. And, and I might add, very different than any other coffee brewer that I've tried in the Krupps or anybody else's line. So, so let's try it. What else is new? Anything that you want to tell me about? <laughs> I didn't you, you, you that pass, one. I'm sorry. Do you want to pass know. me off let's to go, Alex? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alex, come on in. We can both, but just in case. Okay. Um, he might be better on camera. But basically, no. we have the Precise Tamp Espresso, where the machine actually does the work for you. As you know, when you go training for barista, you learn how to tamp, and you spend thousands of dollars learning to do this. Well, this machine does it for you at 199 <laughs> and 299 price point. And all you do is put the port of filter in here and click it across if you want two cups or one cup. The machine tamps it perfectly for you. And then if you want the mess-free cake ejection system, because you're tired of banging on the counter or trying to get the grounds out, you just go ahead and press this button and out pops the cake and you're ready to go for your next one. So it's a perfect, easy to use system um, with the removable filter basket at the back here so you can put it under the faucet and there you go. Ready to go for your next espresso. Yeah. What else, anything new in, in drip, any of these? What? Uh, you're gonna go. Oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead. How are you? It's Hi, Alex. Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Um, yeah. So we have um, this is our new professional series coffee maker, and um, what it does is it brews coffee at 200 degrees, and it has a stainless steel heating element inside of it. So it brews really fast. It brews at um, the, the 200 degrees and brews a full batch in basically seven and a half minutes. Um, so it's really going to get a great cup of coffee. Um, it has a front load filter basket here, a nice cone, cone shaped filter. This is great so it's underneath your, um, under your cabinets so it's nice and ergonomic. All of your controls are right here in front. Okay, and easily accessible. You have a big LCD screen so you can see the clock from far away. And you have your descale function, your programming, your auto on, your auto off, all that bit. And then in the back here we have a removable water tank with water filtration which is great. So there's another uh, convenience factor for the machine. Uh, but it's a collection, you know, so we have toasters, we have the uh, coffee maker, so we call this the professional series coffee. So, you know, and, and then also you can in, in, uh, incorporate with the die cast, you know, the combination espresso coffee machines with the perfect tamp, you know, technology that we have as well. So I notice you have a burr grinder in uh, built into this machine right. instead of the usual uh, blade grinder, which is uh, to our group a uh, big important right. distinction. Oh, absolutely! Um, yeah, conical burr grinders are the best because you don't yeah. overheat the coffee, so you get the even grinds, and you can adjust it with five different coarseness settings. Okay, so you have five adjustment settings. Well, what's really the best about this coffee maker, of course, right? Grinding and brews, they clog a lot. <laughs> so when you have a grinder up here, and when it's done grinding, it closes automatically like this. So basically, um, the steam from the hot water when it's brewing doesn't go into the chute of the grinder, so you never have a clogging function. And the other really nice part about it is, um, you know, no matter what, sometimes you're using one type of coffee here, right? So <clears throat> you can override the grinder, and you can put in, like, your decaf coffee here. So that's another great feature about it. And then the best, of course, is that you can do it two, four, six, eight, ten cups. At a, you know, so if you want to tell the grinder to co grind coffee for two cups of coffee, you select it with your cup button, and it tells the coffee maker to grind for two cups of coffee. So, uh, what's the uh, full batch brew time? Uh, full batch brew time is about, uh, I would say, nine minutes on this one. Okay. A little, okay? Longer. little bit longer. Um, and then you also have a strength indicator as well on this one. So you can do like a light, medium, and a dark coffee on that. What does the strength indicator really do? What, what is it? What is it? The, uh, does it vary the brew time or does it? Does it... So the, the, basically what it does is it tells the, um, it tells the coffee maker to basically grind, um, grind more coffee. Oh, okay. Gives you a so what it's coffee. doing is it's adjusting the grams of coffee 
that are going to be ground through throw away the conical up. burr grinder. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Perfect. That's a good way to do it. So pretty well, cool, huh? Yeah, it is pretty cool, yeah. especially 200 degrees. That's a that's a great. Uh, that's what it should be. It should be 200 degrees, eight minutes. You know my opinions on that, but uh, still, it's better than you know 13. Tw there are brewers on the show floor that you go 12, 13 minutes, and that's too long. You no, know, so. you mentioned um, yeah. how important it is to you. So I have a coffee yeah. here. You should take a look at. Then. Okay, good. This is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh, you said the GA. mocha brew. Yeah. yeah. So the mocha brew. This is the original Krupp's coffee maker, and since you talk about temperature. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. It's got a heating element right here, right? So you put your water in here, and basically that's going to boil the water up, okay? And so everybody knows temperature is really important, so you get it to, you boil your water, you get it up hot, and then you you got to get it just below the boiling temperature to be between 195 to 205 degrees. So guess what? The water comes up through, and then it basically under pressure comes through coffee grounds right here, okay? And you have a very nice even shower head, so you get even saturation of the coffee. And so for a 35-year-old coffee maker, see what a great technology that never went away. Uh, Beautiful machine. Yeah, yeah, I love most still, of still made in it's France, I think. Yeah. Portugal, yeah. Portugal, okay. Yeah, Portugal. Right. Yeah, it's a winner. The only problem is finding number one filters. You're not, you're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we, pack, we pack 100 of them in there for you. <laughs> yeah, 100 and then. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks very much. Oh, you're welcome.